Hi everybody, welcome back to Just The Tip Tuesday. Today, we are going to talk about being interviewed. What does that mean, how to prepare, and what to expect on the day? So first of all, let's start off big picture. You were chosen to be on camera for a reason. Own it and have confidence. Clearly you have an interesting story to tell, an expertise in some sort of subject matter, or an important message to relay. Go into your interview knowing that you are gonna be great. You're gonna be a star, a star. A star is born and that is you. There's a lot you can do to prep for your interview ahead of time, physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's really important to look and feel your best. It's up to you, it's what makes you feel comfortable. So maybe that means just getting a really great night's sleep the night before, taking care of your skin, eating healthy, maybe working out, doing things that'll just manage your stress levels. We have a lot of tips on what it means to be camera ready, so we'll leave a link below so you can check those out, but do whatever it is that makes you feel confident. There's no need to like squeeze yourself into a tight skirt or wear a suit if you usually wear jeans and a t-shirt every day. There's no point in making yourself more uncomfortable. Reach out to the crew ahead of time and get a hold of those questions. It's good to prepare, but not over-prepare. We want you to be natural, but we also want you to have a sense of what you're gonna say. When you arrive at your interview, talk through if you have any questions, if you don't feel comfortable talking about something, know that the production crew is on your side. We want your interview to be amazing and we wanna capture great content. Anytime you need to stop and start, if it's not a live interview, feel comfortable doing that. Anytime you are feeling like you have dry mouth and you need to take a sip of water, take that sip of water. Don't feel like you're taking up the crew's time and don't feel bad about taking multiple takes. We're on your side. There are some things that you can start to think about ahead of time and start practicing that will be helpful, not just for you and the producer, but for the editor as well. This includes taking a beat, which means just taking a second or two after you're asked a question to respond. That will help you, first of all, take a breath, be cognizant, be aware, and be thoughtful before you start speaking. And it'll help the editor when it comes time to chopping up everything in post-production. Another thing that we might ask you to do is to restate a question in your answer. Basically, it just means that if you're asked a question, instead of directly just answering it, rephrasing it so that there's context to your answer. So if I say, how did it feel when you won that race? Instead of saying, amazing, you would say, it felt amazing to win that race. Be aware of your mannerisms and any quirks that might get in the way of making sure you're coming across as confident and knowing what you're talking about. This means if you tend to say like or um a lot, or if you tend to shake your leg or play with your hands, it comes off very insecure on camera and it's not gonna make you look and sound good. So just be aware of these things. The number one most important thing is to be natural and be yourself. Don't be afraid and worst comes to worst, we'll just cut you out of the whole thing altogether. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know any other tips that you might want to see. And if you have any questions for us, otherwise we will see you next Tuesday.